Good morning, Peach Crest Elementary students. I know we are into our second week of virtual learning, and the teachers have said that there are some students that have some questions about virtual learning and just our school environment. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to sort of answer some of those questions. So Ms. Dunlap, you have the first question. It is? When do we come back to school? Okay, well, that's a difficult one. Uh, we are waiting until it is safe for us to come back to school. Um, the district office will make that decision, and I will say that when we do come back, it may look very different. Uh, there will be multiple, multiple opportunities for, you, for us to wash our hands, use hand sanitizer, and we may have to socially distance. It means that we may have to um, stay six feet apart from our peers in class and our teachers. But nevertheless, when we do come back, it is going to be uh, at a time when we can maximize the safety of our students and our teachers. One thing I will say is that it is no fun being in this building by myself. There are some days when I am here um, by myself, or it's just Mr. Gaddis, or it's just uh, Ms. Dunlap and I, and we like the building full of children. That's, that's what we do. We're, we're educators, and we want to hear your voices and to see you smile. But at this particular time, it is not feasible, but hopefully it will be in the near future. Oh, that is a really good question. I'm so glad you asked that. Yes, students, we are a meal site. So that means that uh, you can get breakfast and uh, a lunch here at the school every day. Well, actually, it is prepackaged and you can get it one of two ways. There are buses that go to um, specific sites. But there are prepackaged meals for all students in the household every single day. So all your parents have to do is come up, ask for a meal. You will receive that meal at the end of the week. You also get uh, enough meals to last you for the weekend. So, yes, you can receive um, school meals from Peachcrest or at one of uh, the satellite sites. And... Wow, another good question. So your first uh, resource is always going to be your teacher. Your teachers have done an excellent job um, creating virtual assignments for you and places for you to turn them in. So all of your lessons, your first resource for turning in your work will be your teacher. Some teachers have a platform where you can turn it in. Some teachers will ask for you to take a um, picture of it and send it. Some teachers will ask for you just to complete the assignment on one of our web-based programs. So it is, it is, there are various ways that you can actually get your work done. But the, the most important thing is that you take your virtual learning just as seriously as you would for a traditional, when you are in the brick and mortar building, in the traditional school set. Parents, the only way that we're going to be able to accurately assess your students' achievement is through their independent assignments. I know it is very, very, very tempting to, to, to help them, uh, but what we need for you to do is give them an opportunity, as I said, to sort of complete some things on their own so we can have an accurate idea or assessment of how they're actually uh, doing and learning the content. And our last question, Dr. Mellon, from our Rob Podcast is, who do I contact to Okay, excellent question again. So what you are to do is first inform your teacher. Your teacher has instructions on who you need to contact past her to get your computer problem fixed. The district does have um, people standing by to support uh, students when they're having issues with their, with their Chromebooks. And we do have some people uh, locally that might be able to help with some of the smaller issues that you may be having. So your first resource is to tell your teacher that something is wrong, and then we will take it from there. Well, Ms. Dunlap, thank you very much. I think we have answered some of the most pressing questions. Students, I want to say keep your questions coming. I will answer as many of them as I possibly can. I think the next time we meet, I'm going to read you a story. Thanks, Peach Crest. I'll see you later.